Which you guys got another video here for your Windows 11 now has a quick machine recovery tool. This is going to be released to you very soon on Windows 11 24H2. The quick machine recovery tool is a powerful feature that automatically detects and diagnoses and resolves critical issues on your device. It's now available in the Windows Insider Preview beta channel for Windows 11 version 24H2. To gain access to this new feature when it's released, you need to go to System, Recovery, and then go to Advanced Startup and hit Restart Now. This will restart the PC into the Recovery Console. Now, Microsoft have also said that this feature is going to be a game changer for Windows 11 devices that are facing boot issues. This will be able to scan your system and fix those boot issues that you might be having on your computer. So once we get to the choose an option, what we're going to do is come down to troubleshoot right here. So if you're booting from a Windows disk or you're booting into this option from recovery, so you can go down here into troubleshoot advanced options and there you can see the quick machine recovery. It says let your device search for solutions to repair itself previously known as startup repair. But they've added a lot more functionality to this compared to what Startup Repair was because that was pretty dismal. Let's face it, it never really fixed much. But this tool, they are guaranteeing, will fix a lot of more boot up issues that you might be having. So this will basically kick in when your PC is not booting normally. And what you will get booting into is this area right here. And then you can use the quick machine recovery tool. So Microsoft has said that basically when Windows detects it has a problem and it can't boot normally, it will automatically load you into the Windows RE instead of leaving users scrambling for solutions, especially for beginners who don't know how to even get into that environment. It will automatically take you into this environment. Basically, what it's going to then do is prompt the user to make sure they're connected to the internet because you need to be connected to the internet to try to rectify any issues. Uh, so you need a secure connection via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Once you're connected, what it's going to do is it's going to analyze any crash data from the failed boot process. This smart analysis helps uh, pinpoint issues like critical bugs, problematic drivers, compatibility conflicts that might be preventing Windows from launching properly. Once your diagnostics is done, Windows updates will then step in to deliver the appropriate fixes for you. These target patches that are designed to address the specific uh, issues and problems that have been detected, allowing for a quick return to functional state. Uh, this is what Microsoft are announcing, and this is the way they're pronouncing it on their website. So basically, what you can do here is use this tool to try and fix a lot of issues that you might be having that are preventing you from booting up your PC. A lot of information can be found on the Windows IT Pro blog. Again, it goes into detail about what this uh, feature is and how you can use it to fix uh, windows normally it, this will kick in automatically and start to fix and remedy problems if you have an issue with your boot up it will then go straight in and you'll be able to use this feature to try and fix and remedy any sort of issues that you might be having with your computer microsoft are probably releasing this feature because they're thinking about some of the problems that they might have with their new latest 25H2 when they release it because it's going to have probably loads of bugs just like 24H2 has. <laughs> but that being said, I think it's a good added feature to have for Windows users. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that just don't know how to fix Windows. And again, this will take over and hopefully it's just not another gimmick like the startup uh startup repair tool was not that great in all honesty it never really repaired anything it just used to spin and says we can't repair your pc uh, what do you want to do boot to windows or do you want to try again that's basically what it used to do and microsoft have also broken it down here on how it works you can see device enters recovery mode you can see if windows 11 version 24h2 encounters a critical failure preventing normal boot it enters windows re and i went through some of this already uh, in my own words, but you can see right here, they've worded it probably much better than what I could. But you can see here, it just explains exactly what this tool actually does. So I think a good addition to Windows 11, because obviously with the amount of bugs and the amount of issues they're having, it will help people get back to the desktop and get back up and running. So and Microsoft have left in still in the recovery section, fix problems without resetting your PC. These are just your fix it tools. I don't know how good they are. I've never really used them and had much success with them, to be honest. But we do have fixed repairs and problems using Windows updates. That does actually work and work pretty well 
if you've tried it. And again, we do have also the reset this PC option, which obviously is resetting your PC back to a working state by reinstalling Windows, basically. So that option is still available. And you have the advanced setup right here, which is what you would use to boot into it. Or you can use a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it, and it will then be able to recover it from there. That's probably your best option anyway. Anyway, I hope this video has been informative and helpful. And in all honesty, I know I was joking around and laughing, but at the end of the day, if Windows is going to continue with the amount of bugs and issues that it has, then this tool might just be your saving grace if they release an update and it actually botches your system and you have to uh, you know, boot into that recovery option to be able to recover and get back to the desktop. You know, the, you know the way these updates are going at the moment, they're not that great 24h2 has been an absolute disaster in my honest opinion and i've still not installed it on my system anyway let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk a big shout out to all my youtube members i appreciate the support i shall catch you in the next video bye for now